Hey guys doing? Randy Richard here in the shop. I'm going to start a new uh, series here um, on some uh, tools I'm making and test it out. Uh, I've already given Ray uh, Caniglia one uh, and he's that he's testing out. So I'm going to try to show them to you here. These are lathe tools. That's a, a right hand tool and this is a facing tool. Right here. These are made on 5.8 uh, 4140 stock. Uh, these are the inserts I'm using. I hope you guys can see that. These are milling inserts. 85 degree parallelogram, parallelogram uh, inserts. Uh, the gray one here. Uh, is a real small radius one. And this one is uh, quite a bit, this is uh, not quite, it's quite a bit larger uh, radius. I don't know if you can tell there. Anyway, these are used milling inserts. I got a whole pile of them from my friend Ralph. And they're they were used as milling inserts. And so only two of the corners are, are used. Well, there's really only set up for two corners. The other two corners, when you look at them, the geometry of them, I go, you could you could turn that into a turn it tool. Uh, and by gosh, I did. So those are, these are my two. These are first my first two uh, test tools, obviously, the right hand tool and the facing tool. Uh, so that's yeah. Anyway, so I did. <laughs> uh, anyway, this thing uh, works phenomenally well. Uh, like Ray has a the facing tool right now, and uh, he's he's trying one out, and they work really really well. So I'm gonna do a little series on making them. Uh, I'll uh, eventually have a finished drawing. Uh, if anybody wants it, they can have it, type of thing. So anyway, so we're we're, we're uh, preparing some stock right now. We'll get some video of that and. Oh, some of the setups uh, to cut the angles uh, and everything to hold them. And uh, I haven't figured out exactly what insert they are and who makes them or anything, but uh, I hope to get a little bit more, figure out more information on them. You know, they, they have a countersunk hole in them. They're 85 degree parallelograms. You know, they have chip breaking type geometry on them so not sure who's, who's they are but I have a bunch of them and they work so anyway so we're gonna do that and just that's what this series is gonna be about thanks so this is my uh, first uh, setup for the tool and what I'm doing is I'm cutting a 10 degree angle on the end here so I have my vise turned 10 degrees and I use the DRO uh, with the angle setting mode to set it at 10 degrees on the vice jaw. That's what I measured against. So I already cut, I've already cut my and squared my stock on one end. So I have uh, so I come in, I just I put it up against this vice stop, and I'm milling it off to a specific length at 10 degrees. And that's about it right now. So we'll do that first, and then we're gonna leave, we'll, then we'll put the pieces back in. And this is the tool again, and this angle here is also the ten degrees. So I don't have to turn the vise. I just I just put the piece in the way I cut it the first time, but uh, different tools and a different tool and uh, different end mill, and I'll come in and cut that first first part and to depth for the tool. So let's finish up. Cutting the ends of these, I got uh, two to go, I think. Yep, two to go.
Yeah, one more after this. Now for nice, nice finish. Okay, got a center drill in here. What I did was I picked up this surface in my X direction as zero, this edge. And then I picked up the point uh, as my Y. Uh, so with the center, you know, with the edge finder, just moving it back and forth and very slow, moving it back and forth and very slowly moving it in until I just pick it up right on the point there. So I'm uh, 320 thousandths in my X direction, 538 thousandths in my Y direction. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a center drill. I'm going to drill one under an eighth of a 764 hole, 233 thousandths or so deep, maybe a little shy of 230 thousandths deep. And then I'm going to run an ML down it. So it's a nice clean hole. That's for the corner relief. That will be for this corner relief for the insert, which is going to sit right in there like that. So that, that's for that corner. And it should be right about, right, right about somewhere in there. Yep. So we're going to drill that hole. I'm just getting a zero on it. Yeah. I'm gonna do that two hundred thousand, then we'll do the rest of the end now. We got an eighth inch uh, high speed uh, end mill in there, and uh, we're just gonna clean up that hole and make it the right depth. Okay, uh, I have a quarter inch end mill in there. You'll see my numbers. Uh, this is our depth, my X and my Y position. So that's that. That's as far this way Y position I want to go, and as far in as I want to go on the X. We'll just work our way in. We'll do a hundred thousandths or so at a time. Nice and easy. Now this is not this is going to cut a 90 degree corner or you know close to it here cuz that's our corner relief but it's going to cut 90 degrees. This is 5 degrees wider than that. It's it's actually 95 degrees for the insert. So we have to re we'll do another setup so we can we can cut this angle to the proper angle. Uh like I said it's, it's actually this corner needs to be 95 degrees. So we're going to cut this and out. We'll get rid of the bulk of the material. We'll change the angle of the vise. And we'll come in with 
the eighth inch end mill and skim that one side up and uh, should be pretty good this other side where it goes into the corner I'll either touch it up with a file if there's a little bit left or I'll touch it with the end mill uh, that when we do the other side it, it's a it's a real small little lip that might be there it's you, you do have you want to get rid of it but it's not too difficult to get rid of it with a file so let's get going like I said we're doing four of these things I'm only showing you one I'm actually doing uh, well five of them really I'm doing five of these so uh, so let's go Okay, I got the uh, eighth inch end mill in there. What I'm only gonna do is is clean up this one this one edge here, really. And I don't really care about the length in this case uh, so much. It's we're gonna be within a few thousandths, which is just fine. We haven't drilled our hole yet for the insert, so it it just matters how much you want to have it overhang on this end and and. We're really close to where I want to be, and so it's just a few thousandths, and uh, we just clean it up so it's at the right angle. And I'm just doing it by hand. Uh, first, I set the depth so it's it's just uh, a, though a thousandth above the surface there of the where we're at, just just really close. Not I'm just eyeing this and make contact. Come into that clearance area a little bit, and then come back on out. That's all. Just just clean it up. Just clean it up so it's all so it's at the right angle. That's all I'm doing. See if there's a, enough light there. You see, so this, so now it's it's so this, it's five degrees more than ninety, so it's ninety-five degrees there. <laughs> 